That's what we're going to do. We're going to start here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in Pentatonic Parallel Part 15, Vertical Harmony and Slow Time. In today's stream, we re-listen to the brass tax depth model, which is we just heard a part of. We had some ideas for slowing it down and adding chords. Our goals were to listen again and add the chords and so forth. We ended up adjusting quite a bit our brass tax depth model. And we found it extremely helpful to do that by listening to the lines separately. So, for example, if we mute what we call the backbone figures, this is what the first line sounds like. Now, along the way with working with all this, we added a spacer here because this story has two parts. The sun comes out, it's all bright, then one cloud and another show up. So we wanted a little horizontal spacing. Now we will mute the melody and listen to the backbone part. And we realize that the backbone really has its own part and story that it goes goes with it. And that was a reflection here. It really helps to listen to the backbone so, solo. It makes its own part and ditto the melody line. So we finished all that. Then we made a new score. We made this score vertical harmony slow time and the key first thing we did here is add a whole new part called backbone passing chords and in order to hear this we want to again here's the part one it sounds like this with the uh, backbone we have slowed it down uh, from 120 to 60. So what we wanted to do was add what we call passing chords and this is this line down here. So the G flat in the backbone there's a F in front of it and an F after it and so we put a passing chord with the F and the G flat and the F and so every for every note on the backbone, like the B flat, we made a chord with three notes and we annotated it. So now this is what we hear. Four. so cool about that we reflection passing chords turn horizontal melodic intervals into vertical cadence harmonies 
And in so doing, we came up with chords we've never used before, with intervals of one and a number, and also extreme range voicings we've never used before. So that was neat. Now, the fun part is, what does it sound like when you put the backbone and the passing chords together? basically let it rip with the whole melody and passing chords and backbone. that we could use our previous drum snippet. It was already in 60 beat time. Remember this one? And that had been uh, used the same idea having uh, two parts, a common part and an uncommon part. So we actually went ahead and added, wait a minute, I need this part over here, we had a drum set, and we want to hear what the whole thing sounds like for line one, with the drums in place. So this is kind of where we got to today, so we'll, as usual, turn off the mic to hear this short part. concludes today's stream. We're kind of tickled. We're tickled with the passing chords sounding good and we're tickled with the drum sounding good in there. So our ideas for next steps are to add the passing chords to the additional lines. Uh, start listening to volume. Uh, explore adding more chords and we might want to get around to explore starting an energy diagram. Because we have a story, we have lines, we have parts, we have percussion, we have we have lots of pieces, and it feels like it's starting to come to where we could do sculpt and overall flow. Thank you as always for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always. Keep on streaming. <laughs>